Cyborg solo movie cancelled after Justice League? Ray Fisher admits cost would be huge. Justice League star Ray Fisher has admitted he doesn't know at this point if a solo cyborg movie will ever come to fruition. The popular character was thought to be getting his own caper as part of the DC Extended Universe, but everything seems to have gone quiet since the disappointing release of Justice League in 2017. Now, Speaking at the Heroes and Villains Fan Fest, he said that the almighty cost of making such a movie may put Warner Brothers off pushing forward. I don't know. I can't comment on that specifically, because they don't tell me anything until the very last minute, Flickering Myth quotes him as saying. There's a ton of people making those kind of decisions behind the scenes. He added, and it would be a very very costly movie to make because it is so CGI heavy with Cyborg, because I'm the only member of the league that's not in a practical costume. You're going to be looking at $200 million just to make it. So it's one of those things you have to take into consideration. It's a numbers game for some people at the end of the day. Cyborg was rumored at one point to be set to appear in the flash alongside Ezra Miller, but the likelihood of this happening remains unclear. The DCEU hasn't got off to the smoothest start, with Wonder Woman being its only all-round success out of five movies so far. Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, Suicide Squad and Justice League all received middling reviews, and most of them struggled to take off at the box office in the same way as Marvel films do. But there is still more to come. Aquaman is due out at the end of the year, while Wonder Woman sequel Wonder Woman 1984 is now in production. Shazam! is also en route, and is due out in April 2019. Other DCEU projects thought to be on the horizon include Green Lantern Corps, Birds of Prey and The Batman. The latter of that set has been up in the air for some time now after Ben Affleck decided to step down from directing in it as well as starring in the titular role. Whether or not he will even continue to play the iconic superhero remains to be seen, amid endless rumors that he will step down. Aquaman is out on December 21.